What is up guys and welcome back to more Final Fantasy X. So I am finally back from my trip away. I went away to Eurogamer this past weekend to play some of the most like interesting games on the indie side of things and just to play some of the games that are coming out towards Christmas and next year. So it was a lot of fun and obviously I had videos going up over that time. But I am back and uh, I'm at one of the most dreaded sections in Final Fantasy X today. Alright, the Bival Trials. I have to remember what I'm supposed to do. Because I don't. Um, I don't know. So I think... There's a spear, spear, spear on the other side, so there's not one here, there's one in there already. But you always need to have one in your pedestal so that it can move. Now there's one on the other side, but I think I need that for later? I'm trying to, like, I'm racking my brain and I'm like, ah, I can't remember. So Final Fantasy IX, like, unexpectedly came to the store. Let me go down this way. I came to the store last week and I was so sad about that because I have absolutely no time to play that game. It's like, <laughs> it's not fair. Because 9 is one of my favorites, but there's no way that I can play Final Fantasy X at the same time as Final Fantasy IX. I just don't have time for that. So what is in this one? All right, well, I'm gonna take this. And check it in there. Now, of course, this is the last trials that we need to do before we can just go and get Anima. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be able to get Platinum on this run. Because I know I've missed out on a few Albed um, primers. Let's go back up. But I'm going to be doing a lot less Let's Plays on my channel, which I'm actually really excited about. Because I've been doing Let's Plays for such a long time. <sighs> Just made that. Um, okay, well I'm just going to take one of these. And... No! Put it in here. Where was that? That was down the bottom path. So maybe now that I can go down, I can get more places to go. So I haven't been on the other side yet, so let's see if I can turn around here. Yes. It's so hard, like, you always end up going the wrong way if you're, like, spamming X, which is what I do quite often. So I don't want to say too much about EGX because I've done a lot of filming when it was at EGX and I like I still need to upload that. Right, let's put this back on. Uh okay, well I'm just going to fall to my doom. It always scared me when I was younger. I don't know why. So I think we're done with this top section. So let's go down here. Right, so finally we have different ways we can go. Let's go this way. So we got one, two... Bottom one, bottom one. What? I was spamming. It's so hard to get to that bottom one sometimes. Like, you have to just not fall off the edge. You've got to be kidding me. Come on. 
so frustrating. What am I supposed to do? Unless I stop off somewhere else before. I don't understand why I'm not getting this. So I think I need to do the bottom one first. So anyway, we went to EGX this past weekend. We stayed in Birmingham, in England. And I'm gonna get this this time. What the fuck? Really? Why can't I get it? This is nonsense. Ah! I hate these trials. I hate them so much. Ah. So annoying. No, I want to go down there. Oh my god, really game? It's like I'm, I'm pressing to go the right way. Ah. Watch me just go back to the very beginning and then have to do it like all again. Okay, we go down please. So we stayed in Birmingham. We actually stayed in the same hotel as we stayed last year at EGX, but this time it was so crap. We um we had like a really noisy part of the hotel and there was a carnival outside that was playing music until like 11 o'clock at night. I don't understand this, why I can't go that way. Okay, I got it. So there was a carnival outside and yeah, they were blasting music until like half 11, 12 o'clock at night. So we were working all hours at EGX, like getting footage, walking about. I was absolutely exhausted. My neck is still killing me. And we get back to the hotel, and then we would hear the TV through the wall, the people upstairs, and the carnival outside. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Like, this is the stuff I have to put up with when I'm at home. So I was like, what is going on, basically? So I was not happy. And uh, unfortunately, I've put in a bad review on the hotel, so I will not be staying there again. Because the funny thing is, I paid extra to have a quiet room because obviously we were going there for business so we were going to be really tired at the end of the day. Oh, I've done it again! Ugh, I hate the Bevel child. I hate, hate, hate them. With a passion. Is it going to make me go that way now or... Yeah, so it just automatically makes you go that way. Ugh. So I've put a complaint into the hotel. Because, I mean, if you pay extra to have a quiet room, then you should get a quiet room. And, um, I'm getting old. I just don't like to party. I don't care for all that stuff. <laughs> okay, can I get this right now? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys can see that I am pressing to go the right way. Alright. Okay, I'm happy. We've managed to get to where we need to be. So I'm gonna take this one. I think most of just what takes a while with the Bevel Trials is stopping on the right platforms is usually a good place to start. And uh, just getting like the timings right when it comes to the arrows because that's the most annoying part in my opinion. So I need to go back to the right and then hopefully I can go right again. I was lucky. Because I think this is where I get the destruction spear. 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 So I've been playing a lot of The Sims. Well, at least I was before I went away. I pre-recorded everything before I went to the convention. And, oh my god. Like, The Sims is turning out to be what The Witcher was. Which is that people don't allow you to learn. They just want to backseat you constantly and be like, you gotta do it my way, and if you don't do it my way, then you're a bad person. And, um... So where does that one go again? Destructions. I think that's in the... Side one, maybe? Yeah, I think it is. And uh, they just don't want you to learn, that's the thing. They want to just tell you how to do it, and then if you don't do it their way, then they get proper mad at you. And that is what The Sims is becoming, which is sad to me. Right, second one to the right, I think. Oh, got it. Now I think I need to put 
Is it the destruction one in here? I'm not sure, hold on. take one back out again because I'm pretty sure I have to go up that section with two spears. Why do I keep calling them spears? They're spears. I need to go up this next section with two of them so I need to take one back from here. What? Don't do this to me again game. Don't do this to me again. Because I'm trying my hardest here to, <laughs> to land where I'm supposed to land. It's so annoying. Okay easy. Oh my god! I hate this! I hate it! Okay, I got it. I got it. Another thing I loved about EGX is, well, I managed to get some time with the developer of Life is Strange again. I met him last year and he's like the nicest guy ever. I love him to bits. So I was chatting to him for a good hour about Life is Strange and just what I thought of it. When's the next episode? What can I expect? Blah blah blah. No spoilers, of course. And it's just so awesome, and that's why I do this. I mean, that's why I started this channel in the first place, was to get to meet the faces behind the games. And it's just such a nice feeling. It's like when I met Nobu, Nobua. I never even know how to say his name. Mr. Iumatsu, I think. Right, let's get out of here. So now every time I play Final Fantasy and his name pops up, the music composer, I'm like, I met you. Ah, oh, so good. Uh, what happened there? That was a bit weird. Okay, let's push this one in here. I'm gonna be so happy when this is done. So now that we have two of the spheres on us, I should be able to get the, the hidden item. I'm pretty sure though, when you go up here you can't come back down. Yeah, you can. So if you've messed that section up, then you're screwed, basically. Nice! Oh, there we go, hold on. Okay. So then we put this one in here. And then we push you in here. To be fair, I'd probably just walk along the side if I was Titus and I didn't have my pedestal or whatever. And that is it! Oh, I am so freaking happy, you guys have no idea. We are done! I am out of here. Never to do those trials ever again. I think I've done them like six times in my life. Yuna? Inside, maybe? Then what are we standing here for? <laughs> hey! Uh, you can stuff your taboos! What's that? A faith. They join with the summoner, and together receive the Aeon. They are human souls, imprisoned in stone by ancient Yevon rites. The dead should be allowed to rest.
Yuna! of them. You are to stand trial. <laughs> I expect it will be a fair trial. <laughs> of course it will. Yay! One of my favorites. Ha ha. Uh, do I want to? Yeah, I do actually. Because I never want to have to do well, unless this file gets corrupt in some way and then I have to redo the entire thing, which fingers crossed I don't. We're done. The High Court of Yevon is now in session. The sacred offices of this court seek nothing but absolute truth in Yevon's name. To those on trial, believe in Yevon. And speak only the truth. Maester Kelk Ronso. Summoner Yuna. You have sworn to protect the people of Yeva, true? Yes. Then consider. You have inflicted dire injury upon Maester Seymour Guado conspired with the Albed and joined in their insurrection. These are traitorous and unforgivable crimes that disturb the order of Yevon. Tell this court what possessed you to participate in such violence. Your Grace. The real traitor is Maester Seymour. He killed his father, Jiskel, with his own hands. What is this? Hmm? Haven't you heard? Not only that... Maester Seymour is already dead. It is a summoner's sacred duty to send the souls of the departed to the Far Plain. Yuna was only doing her job as a summoner. Grand Maester Micah, please send Seymour now. Send the unsent to where they belong? Yes. <laughs> Maester? Send the dead, hmm? You would have to send me, too. What? Grand Maester Micah is a wise leader. Even in death, he is invaluable to Spira. <laughs> Enlightened rule by the dead is preferable to the misguided failures of the living. Life is but a passing dream, but the death that follows is eternal. Men die, beasts die, trees die, even continents perish. Only the power of death truly commands in spirit. Resisting its power is futile. But what of sin? I am a summoner, my lord, like my father before me. I am on a pilgrimage to stop the death that sin brings. Are you... Are you telling me that too is futile? <sighs> Grand Maester Micah, I am not alone. All the people who have opposed sin, their battles, their sacrifices, 
Were they all in vain? <laughs> Not in vain. No matter how many summoners give their lives, sin cannot be truly defeated. The rebirth cannot be stopped. Yet the courage of those who fight gives the people hope. There is nothing futile in the life and death of a summoner. Never futile, but never ending. Indeed, that is the essence of the heaven. Lord Micah! The heaven is embodied by eternal, unchanging continuity, Summoner. No! That can't be right! Those who question these truths, they are traitors! And like any religion, it's all gone nuts. Get me out of here! I want out now! You hear me? You waste your breath. Man, I hope Yuna's okay. Hmm. She is strong. She'll make it. She'll make it? What, so she can die? <sighs> Why is it... Everything in Spira seems to revolve around people dying? Ah, uh, the spiral of death. Huh? Summoners challenge the bringer of death, sin, and die doing so. Guardians give their lives to protect their summoner. The faith are the souls of the dead. Even the maesters of Yevon are unsent. Spira is full of death. Only sin is reborn, and then only to bring more death. It is a cycle of death, spiraling endlessly. <sighs> Come out. Your sentence has been decided. Sentence? Don't you mean execution? <laughs> really, now? What person would execute a dear friend? You would. <laughs> Looks like you're next. Uh, next for what? <clears throat> Get going. Where's everybody else? Floating down there somewhere, maybe? What's our sentence? Think they expect us to give up and die down here. Oh, well that's a lame way to kill someone. Where's Uni? I don't know. Wonder if we should wait for her. Hmm. Let's wait at the exit. If there is an exit. How would you know if there even was an exit? Or where to go? How fares the Ronso Maester? It seems my father's murder troubles him. <laughs> Ever the Ronso. Hard-headed, 
hard to use it. However, the summoner Yuna, daughter to High Summoner Braska, she may be of some use to us alive. She has disturbed the order of Yevin. She cannot be allowed to live. I understand. Let it go, Seymour. No one thrown into the Via Purifico has ever survived. Yet there is always a small chance that they might. Place guards at the exit. Kill any who emerge. Sir, leave that to me. Oh. First your father, now your bride. Allow me to do this because she is my bride. Wait, I will go too. You do not trust me? Would you trust a man who murdered his father? Very well, as you wish. I hate Seymour, he's so sarcastic. Lady Yuna, forgive me. Alright, so I do remember this bit where basically you just have to stand on the platforms as you go. Funny story though, so we have not used Yuna for a very, very long time. And she's gonna be pretty weak at this point, so I'm gonna use that so I can get some HP. It's good timing to have that one. Okay, so if I do remember, I just need to find my friends in this section. It's a pretty good place to actually do some grinding as well, which is desperately needed at this point. But unfortunately guys, that's all I've got time for in this episode of Final Fantasy. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode.